Hello friends and welcome to my video on AI art. So friends, you know that if you want to create AI art in your own computer, you will need a powerful laptop or a PC with an NVIDIA GPU. Now you can get an NVIDIA GPU in a laptop or a PC, but what if you are using a MacBook or a Mac OS device with the M1 or M2 chip? Well, you are not out of luck because stable diffusion is supported in Mac OS with the M1 or M2 chip. And for that, we have to thank the team behind Diffusion B who has supported Stable Diffusion for us to use in our MacBooks. Now I have a running version of Diffusion B in my MacBook. I'm running a MacBook Air, the base variant, and it only has 7 core GPU. So it's not that fast, but still I think it gives me decent speed. So if you have an M2 chip with lot more GPU cores or lot more CPU cores, you're gonna get more performance out of Diffusion B. Now Diffusion B is a full-fledged uh, AI generator. It has text to image, it has image to image, it has in-painting and out-painting everything. You can even add custom models and generate using those. I'll show you how to do them. But let's just try the text to image at first. So as you can see, I have already created an image. And if you're looking for prompts that you can take inspiration from, uh, they have lots of prompts in their website, which is Art Hub. So you can actually uh, click here on prompt ideas and they will take you to art hub and you can see all of these images that was created using diffusion B. So if you like any of these images, for example, I think I really like this image and I want to create something similar to this style. So I can just copy it and run it in uh, diffusion B and show you sort of how it works. So let's paste this here and um, all right, let's just run it like this. All right, because I'm just here to show you how this thing works and it works very well and very simply. So now I have my prompt and uh, from here I can change some of the options and styles. For example, over here I can change the guidance scale and I can choose what uh, custom model to use. So I only have one custom model other than the default model. So I'm going to use that and you can even uh, enable uh, negative prompts as well. On top of that, if you want to create your own style, if you want to add your own twist to whatever prompt that you're using, or if you're learning to prompt, then you can go to the styles tab and you can see all the different types of additions to your prompts that you can do that creates, uh, you know, uh, good looking images. So let's say that I want to add a few things from here. Let's say that I want it to be an art style by, by Wes Anderson and um okay fine i want it to be a happy style image i want it to have beautiful lighting so all the variables that you can use or you can add to a basic prompt you can actually find it over here and they have many many variables which you can actually add to your prompt from this list without having to think of different kinds of words that you can use um i'm gonna use watercolor as well just to see how it works so now i'm going to uh, generate so uh, it's going to take some time because my uh, MacBook is a base variant MacBook. Uh, it has only um, 8 GB of RAM and only 7 core GPU. But as you can see, it has already started. Uh, it is uh, taking around 4 seconds per iteration. But if you have a faster MacBook, if you have an M2 MacBook, you know, one of those which has like, I don't know, 14 cores or 30 cores of GPU, I think you're gonna get a much faster result but given the potato macbook i have i'm somewhat pretty happy uh, to be getting the kind of speed because i usually use this machine when i go outside so i can sort of generate when i'm you know uh, free and not doing anything but i'm not in my home all right so this is a very good way of using stable diffusion or ai art on the go friends it has generated the image so okay it's not a very good image it's not a very bad image but it didn't take a lot of time compared to the kind of PC I have, so I'm very happy. And from here, you can actually take your image to image to image or in painting or out painting. For example, you can uh, uh, and you can also uh, upscale the image. So I'm going to uh, save the image first, and and then I'm going to maybe take it to um, in painting, and then I'm going to um, in paint the face okay it's going to take some time okay let's increase the stroke size and uh, and let's make it um asian 
woman anime and let's see how it works okay the ink painting is over and yes it did convert the face to an asian anime woman uh, anyways it, i'm not really entirely happy uh, about how it came out but you know what i'm not complaining because this is something that i haven't really given a lot of thought and i'm happy with the ink painting so as you can see it does a decent ink painting all right i don't see any seams or anything awkward or terrible um perhaps if i generated a better image it would have done a better work okay so let's just go to out painting and in out painting you can see that it gives you an infinite canvas so uh, let's try another uh, generation and then from there see if we can outpaint or how we can outpaint all right so let's go and grab um, another beautiful image let's take this one and paste it here how much generate this okay so it has uh, generated my first image so now i can uh, just drag this uh, somewhat here all right and then make some changes uh, to this prompt uh, and let's say with uh, tiger and then generate okay so the out painting is done i do not see any tiger but it created a seamless out painting so actually i don't mind um, let's see if i can perhaps add it further add further to this image and maybe it will create a tiger for me now over here Let's try it over here and generate here. I'll just put it a bit more inside and generate here. Okay, so yes, this time it has created the tiger and uh, well, somewhat seamless way. Um, I'm not unhappy with the results. It did a very good job, I think. So I'm really happy with the result. I think it did a very good job. So you can click here and save the image and it's saved let's check this out okay so let's check the image out and here is the image okay so yeah it's pretty good um, not bad at all so the final thing that i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you how you can actually add custom models so for that you have to go here and um, you can go to settings here and you can actually add new models all right so you can download your models and keep it anywhere on your disk so for me i have uh, placed this in the sd model uh, folder and i have added it from there so you can just add model and you can actually go to this folder you can add any other model and then open uh, and it will be added so this way you can add multiple models and when you're creating image you just uh, go to options and uh, select your custom model from here thanks to diffusion b team for bringing stable diffusion to mac os it's been a great help for people like me who use a macbook for portability um, i'm not so sure how well it runs on intel based macs but it's running great on the uh, m1 and m2 max and it gives me decent speed in my base model macbook here so if you have a higher configuration of uh, m1 or m2 macbook you can definitely expect better speed so that's it for this video now i hope you enjoyed this video and you will continue to create great images inside your macbook using diffusion b so we will meet each other again in the next video till then goodbye and adios